Hello guys and girls and welcome back to a new video today. This is my reaction video to Oxford United against Tommy Rose at the Gazam Stadium on the 16th of February, February the 2nd, 2021 in the Papa John's Trophy semi-finals which Tommy Rovers are now going to Wembley with a 2-0 win, goals from um, Kane Woolery and Kieran Morris. Two great goals from the Tramie Rovers. So let's let's get started. So the team news was Scotty Davis in goal, Otis Khan at right back, George Ray and Montfey as two centre backs, McDonald as the left back. Midfielders we had um O'Connor, Kirby um Kirby, Lewis and Morris. And the two strikers were Kane Woolery and Danny Lloyd. So first, so going into the game now, first five, ten minutes, Tommy Rovers were all on top in the first ten minutes, playing well. Could have created some, we could have got a goal in the first five, ten minutes. Played really well in the first ten minutes, like I said. And then we just we just kept pouncing, pouncing, pouncing to try and get that goal, to get the first goal of the game. But um, going into the game, obviously Tramuros were just far the better team in the first half because Kane Woolley was literally running rings around their defence on that right wing and we absolutely dead and buried them in the first half because the chances we were having, we created so much. Obviously, when we scored, um, obviously people were saying it was handball, which... It did look like a handball from where I could see it, obviously, because it came off his or off his hand by accident, dental, but yeah. But Tramie Rovers got the goal. Tramie Rovers go 1-0 up, possibly on the way to Wembley. And then, great goal from um, Woolery. Fantastic goal. And then, second half, uh, first half finished. Then just about going in the second half, um, Oxford making a few changes for their team. I think they made. I thought Brannigan came on for them. Obviously, he's a good player for them. See if he could change anything in the game. And then, what did Tommy Rivers do? Give away a penalty in the fiftieth minute. Owens Khan gives away a penalty. Personally, I thought. I don't think. Khan had a good game today. I thought I thought he was the worst player on the pitch for me, but that's my opinion. But um Matty, Matty Taylor had the penalty. Did he score? No. He blazed it over the bar. Just like Adam Thompson Tom, Thompson did for Morecambe a few weeks back and it was exactly the same penalty. It was a dreadful penalty. I think the ball's still going. I think the ball's still going to Wembley, but it's just stopping outside because they didn't get through. But yeah, um, 50th minute. And then Tramie Rovers um, were playing some decent attacking football during the game. And then... Um, Oxford tried to create a few more chances. Obviously, they was they were just they were just getting they were getting chances, 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 and then after that they hit the post, and then uh, Trammy Rose got a free kick in the sixty fourth minute, and then a goal from Trammy Rovers for Kieran Morris. Great goal, great strike, great hit, um. Here in the bottom corner, I think it was the left hand corner. Great goal, 2 0 Tramia. But then it was getting nervy near the ending. Obviously, the last 20 minutes were really, really, really shaky. Obviously, Marty Taylor hitting the post three times. Personally, if one of them went in, it probably would have been a different game. And Tramia Rivers probably would have been out. Because the amount of chances Oxford had, they could have had about three or four in that game today. Maybe five or six, maybe. But it didn't happen for them. But Oxford are a great team. So, yeah, it, it happens now and again. Obviously, you have the chances, but you don't 
take home. Personally, Tommy Rose should have had a penalty in the first half, but we didn't get it. But it's one of them. But like I said, but you just gotta move on. Obviously, just go on about it. But yeah, and then look, it was clearly it was a good game for Tommy Rose to get the win. But yeah, Oxford played really well. And then the full time score was Tommy Rose two, Oldham uh, Oldham, Oxford nil. You always get that mixed up, always. But yeah, great win for Tram Rivers. Back at Wembley, fantastic. I think this is our fourth time we we're at um, Wembley now. I think because we've had Forest Green, Bournemouth, and uh, Newport. We've won two out of three. Let's hope we can get three out of four. Let's hope we get the win. Depending who we play, we either play Sunderland or Lincoln. But yeah, I'm really happy that we got through. Great goals from the team and great spirit from the lads. My man of match would be, I've got three, but I'll say the first one. My first one would be Woolery. I thought Woolery was fantastic. And we was just winning everything. He made, he made um, their defence like... Um, a, a lower league side because he was literally running out of spaces running round them just like running rings around them and everything but yeah I'm just so happy that we won so my second player I would say is Fort George Ray had a good game I thought he was good defending could have won us a penalty as well which he should have had the penalty for because he went down because one of their players were Literally all over him. Literally. But yeah, and then my third one would be Nayo Kirby. I thought he had a great game in the first half when he played. He literally was he was taking the piss out of them because he was doing tricks. He was passing. His passes are fantastic. And then, But yeah, that's what you get from a team that's from the Premier League. Obviously, he's on loan from Crystal Palace. But yeah, he's a great player. And he's got everything. So, it's good luck to us in the final. Obviously, it's good, good, luck, to, good luck for the rest of the season. Um, Oxford United. So, possibly you could get, get playoffs this season. So, let's hope you do that. And, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. But before I go, I will be doing a big preview for that game against Sunderland or Lincoln. And I might get, I might get some fans in giving me their predictions and everything, which I might do. I might actually get Trammy fans and Lincoln fans or Sunderland fans what they're thinking of the game. So yeah, I may, might make a different type of video, and I might do a live reaction video during that game when we play them in the final, whoever we play. So yeah, that that's what's going to be happening. So. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. So for the next time, I'll see you guys in a bit. And I will be doing my preview for Oldham on Thursday because we play them on Saturday. So, so yeah, we're away or we're at home. We're at home. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. So for the next time, I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace out and up the whites. So I on me. Wembley.